What's going on, YouTube? For us here, hope you guys are doing well. We are a couple weeks away from the launch of Season 3 of Modern Warfare 3. And I think Season 3 is a massive opportunity for Call of Duty to approach Modern Warfare 3 with a new lens. Instead of just doing the regular content drop, that is maps and weapon balancing, they can approach it to actually make some serious change. I made a video a couple weeks ago talking about overhauling Modern Warfare 3 and how we need to see a massive overhaul. And unfortunately, I just don't think that's going to happen with Season 3. But what I could see and what I'd like to see is them approach one of the major problems that MW3 has and actually fix it. Is it a lot to ask for? Maybe. But I really think that if Sledgehammer Games wants to inject this game with a little bit more life as we go later in its life cycle, making this one significant change is what's going to help insulate this community. Because a, a new content drop with the same old maps and the same old new weapons and the same old weapon balances it is just going to feel like it's missing the mark, like it's missing what Call of Duty truly needs. Yes, more content is always good. But we also need substantive changes in the back end to make the overall gameplay more enjoyable. Because that's one of the biggest hurdles that MW3 has, is the gameplay isn't all that engaging. Because there's so many detractions that pull you out of the experience. There's a reason why I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything, even though I haven't touched the game since the launch of Season 2 Reloaded. I don't feel as if there's any reason for me to go and play because my experience is so inconsistent every time I play. It's been an issue ever since launch and it continues to be an issue today. But that's not what I want them to target. Instead, there is another issue that they need to focus on for Season 3. If they came out and they decided to completely overhaul the spawn system, change it, make it more consistent, make it more convenient for the player... Oh boy, would it be one of the best changes we have seen in a seasonal update all year long. Now, of course, what comes with this is them actually being able to release a competent update that doesn't break the game when it releases. But that's neither here nor there. The main focus of what I'd like to see is them actually attacking one of the game's biggest problems and fixing it. And this, I believe, is under Sledgehammer Games' control. Whereas the other core issues, like the servers and the hit detection and the matchmaking, I, I don't feel as if those are under Sledgehammer control. I feel like those are more Activision problems. But the spawns? That feels like something that Sledgehammer Games has the power to have some influence over, has the power to change and hopefully make it better. Because it's been an issue ever since the beta. It's been an issue at launch. It's been something that has been talked about at nauseum with this community. It doesn't take long to go anywhere on social media and see somebody make a comment or criticism about the spawn system. It is something that is holding Modern Warfare 3 back and needs to be immediately addressed. And no better time than Season 3. Because this is right around when people start to move away from Call of Duty even more. They try different games. Heck, the, the weather forces people to actually go outside. Because I don't want to be cooped up anymore. It's spring. I want to do other things, right? Golf season starts. But that's neither here nor there. If you want to incentivize players to come back, major changes need to be made. And this is one of those major changes that will help this game out immensely people that have put modern warfare 3 aside that haven't touched it in weeks maybe even months here the spawn system has been overhauled the spawn system has been improved they're going to come back and heck even watching professional call of duty will completely change it's been said numerous times on their broadcasts how bad the spawn systems are in cdl right now and it is a major barrier for pro players. They don't like the spawn system right now. And it does need serious addressing. And if it gets addressed and it gets changed and it happens before COD Champs, guys, I'm not joking, we could have one of the best competitive Call of Duty games we've ever seen. Ranked play will be improved. The game as a whole will be improved. It will be more immersive 
It'll be more enjoyable. It'll be what we want it to be. And I don't really understand the roadblock here as to why Sledgehammer Games hasn't gone after this problem. Because I see it as an opportunity for them to grow their player base, to maintain their player base. They always talk about player retention. Fix the spawns, you retain more players. It's that simple. Nobody can be impressed by the current player numbers. I, I just don't think that you can be. So why don't you go and make significant changes? Make tangible adjustments that improve the game so that everybody wins. Because, hey, if you retain players and you get people to go on your side, more cosmetic purchases, more bundle purchases, more battle pass purchases. Everybody wins. You get your revenue and players get a game that they actually want to play. That's the argument here. And yeah, it might be a lot of work. It might take some time, take some effort. But that's what you signed up for. That's what game developers should want to do. Improve the game. Make it more enjoyable for your player base. Make it something that you want to play. Because I don't even know if the developers want to play it themselves right now. Because it'd be hard to play it and not notice all the glaring issues in the game. If you improve the spawn system, you improve the overall environment of the game. And then you couple that with the new content we're going to see with probably some remastered MW3 maps from 2011. Maybe even some DLC maps from the original MW2. And potentially some brand new maps as well. And that's one thing that Sledgehammer Games has done really well. I love the maps that they have created for this game. I think this is some of the best map variety we've ever seen. I don't often compliment them, but I will in that sense. Please stop wasting all the potential with this game. Because that's what I see with MW3, is consistent wasted potential because they're sitting on their hands when what they truly have is an opportunity to do right by the community and do right by their developers. It's not a perfect game by any means. But it's a game that has flaws that consistently hold it back from reaching its true potential. So allow the game, by just working on the spawn system and improving it, to actually deliver that experience that this community deserves. That's it for the video today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it down below. Would a fix to the spawn system bring you back for Season 3 of MW3? Or do you need more? Do you need reassurance that matchmaking is improved? Do you need reassurance that the hit detection and server tick rate has been improved? Would love to hear your thoughts down below in that comment section. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.